Here's another one of my novels, The Day Who Unleashed Hell. Well, this is an interesting novel because it has to do with a night vision camcorder, and it's a detective series. The back copy of The Day Who Unleashed Hell goes beyond a date. So it's not a kind of a date that you're going to think of. It's not the date you eat, which is a fruit. It's not a date where someone has a date and they go out with someone. It's something beyond that. Read between the lines. It has to do with an adoption. That kind of a date. An appointment. Now the, that copy says, the, This night vision camcorder never let me down in a crisis. You'd be surprised at how theatrical transparent tape and paste on freckles can transform a mature woman into a 14-year-old for a few hours. As a prize-winning investigative reporter and videographer who is also a retired psychiatrist with his mother's insistence, I sneaked into my former patient's Ben's son secret ritual room. So that's how the book opens. The psychiatrist is giving house calls with a video camera. And when she's going to her clients' homes to videotape them with their insistence, permission, and request, the story unfolds. The Date Who Unleashed Hell, published in paperback at iUniverse.com. Now, this book runs approximately 265 pages and it's published by iUniverse. It's under their Mystery and Suspense Press imprint. Mystery and Suspense Press imprint. The Date Who Unleashed Hell. And it's more about an adoption and counseling than a date. It's actually the psychiatrist who goes into the home of the patient or the client with a video camera and counsels the son and the parents and tries to adopt a 17-year-old, and it unfolds from there. In my nonfiction books, Writing What People Buy. Now, this is a projects book. So for all writing teachers and instructors and trainers and people who have writing workshops are looking for something to write about and for writing students who think, well, I can't think of a thing to write. Well, here's something to write about more than 101 projects to write in your community. And you can develop from them not only jobs and assignments, but internships and externships. Externships and internships. So try these writing projects. There's so many suggestions and ideas and practical applications for writing projects. Writing what people will buy. Writing what people buy. 101 Projects That Get Results. That's the actual title of the book, Writing What People Will Buy, 101 Plus Writing Projects That Get Results. These are how to make the writing saleable strategies and techniques, but it's also resources and what to write. This book runs with appendices 403 pages. So it's a pretty thick book, and it has all types of projects, web projects, print media, TV media, fiction and nonfiction, all types of projects, a lot of fiction, and also how to use personality traits to develop writing projects, and how to use your payoff, for example, on what you do to exempt yourself from burden, or to seek rapport, or understanding. These projects can help you decide what to write about. And it's not just suggestions, it's actual applications. So writing what people will buy, 101 place writing projects that get results. iUniverse.com is the publisher. called Cleopatra's Daughter. And what I want to emphasize on this book is 
that it's cross-cultural. And it is written in first person as a fictional novel of one person's personal journey. And it is an entirely fictional book, but it has a lot of interesting points in it of what happens as a person's life unfolds between the ages of birth and middle age. And it starts out, sometimes a traveling private eye such as I must engage in global intercourse. That's cross-cultural verbal intercourse. The only tone that separates one culture from another is the G-string. And it's the only pitch, P as in Peter, I-T-C-H, of tone separating the joy of one culture from the undulation of another. So it's the story of a family, Cleopatra Aziza and his, her wife, now that's not right, Cleopatra Aziza and Hakim. Cleopatra Aziza is the wife of Hakim. And we have a picture, the Egyptian girl he married, whose voice became an indistinguishable demand as loud as the wind. It offers suspense and intrigue within two families turning verbal intercourse into global intercourse with an attitude. What happens when families collide to seek identity? So this is a first person, interpersonal journal type of novel, which is entirely fiction, but explores the inner reflections of a family. Cleopatra, well, there are seven Cleopatras in history, and this one is the eighth. Cleopatra and Ziza, from her daughter's point of view. First person novel. Verbal intercourse, on the other hand, is another family that does the routine of suspense body language. I'll just read a passage. Look at the body language. Verbal intercourse is about the effects one partner has on the other through words, looks, and body language. And a lot of it is expressed as humor, but it's a darkly kind of humor. This is also a paperback book published by iUniverse, about 261 pages verbal intercourse. So these are just but a few of my books. Don't forget my novel, New Afghanistan, Anchor TV Woman. Well, what's that about? It's about a fictional TV anchor woman who has to change the new Afghanistan by being appointed not only as the TV anchor woman, but the director of tourism. And she has to change the image of the country sometime in the future to make the Tora Bora Caves a family theme park, not unlike Disneyland. That book is also published by iUniverse.com. It's available in paperback, and it's called New Afghanistan's TV Anchor Woman. Now, what's that book about? Another private eye who's a psychiatrist because it takes a psychiatrist in fiction to change the image of the tourist industry. So New Afghanistan TV Anchor Woman is the name of the novel by me, Anne Hart, published by iUniverse.com. And this is the Writers Club series. So look it up at Amazon.com or BarnesandNoble.com or Walmart or any of the other books a million and booksellers or go directly to the publisher www.iuniverse.com search on your Anne Hart and look up all my novels and see which one of my novels one of my nonfiction books is right for you now if you want to write a book just sit down write one page a day what will it take you one or two hours one page a day 300 words 250 words double space think of it one page a day in 365 days, you'll have a 365-page novel. Well, let's see if you're interested. Start writing. I teach writing online for college credit. 
and keep on reading. And if you want to be an author, all you have to do is sit down and write a few minutes a day. You will soon have that novel completed. And you don't have to even wait until a publisher publishes it. You can launch your book in the media before it's even published. Or you can go to a print-on-demand publisher and have your books printed on demand so that when someone wants to buy it, that's when it's printed and sent. There's a lot of choices now. Just make sure what you've written is the best you can do and you've researched all that could be researched about it in the time you have allotted yourself. And if you know you've done your best work and you're satisfied with a book like that that you can really be proud of, then it's time to have it published one way or another. In any case, you all have a good day and read. And don't forget, keep on writing. Keep on writing, everyone. Keep on writing. This is Anne Hart saying, write, read.